Today I went to a record store. I haven't bought a record in years now. Last time I did it was because I went to Smorgasburg with my sister, I think right after we moved in together. And I don't even think I bought anything. Maybe I did. I think I might have bought this album, or I mean record, but I'm not sure where, where this has come from. Most of my records are were my dad's and I've now taken them over. I stole all of them. My dad was a teenager in the 70s, so he's got quite a big collection but it's all away in storage and so because of that over the past few years i haven't really been using my record player there she is so pretty um it was my grandfather's before uh i think my dad gave it to my grandpa so that's not full circle but i think that's kind of funny so my dad had a lot of rock and roll records and when i was living in vermont that i was so into rock and roll and i was just always listening to those records 
But over the years, I've been focusing more on music like on Spotify and more like modern music because of K-pop. And I like to listen to music on Spotify so that it can count towards my Spotify wrapped at the end of the year. I feel like that's very important to me. But I realized that a lot of the, the classical music that I listen to, I just play YouTube playlists. I was like, you know what? I really want to get back into playing my vinyls. For some reason, the, the vinyls that I have with me, all of the rest of them are in storage, if I didn't already say that. But... The ones I have with me are just so random. I have a lot of The Cars and Blondie. That's so random. Why do I have so many of those? I don't know. And the only modern records um, <laughs> I have is Lana Del Rey. And um, I think it's just Lana Del Rey Born to Die album. I rearranged my living room a little bit, took my record player out from underneath the TV so that I could actually pay the record part because I was mostly using it for the CD part aka my one ABBA CD which I love so much. Angel Eyes is the best ABBA song. And I want to focus on classical music and jazz perhaps but focusing on classical first. Most of the records I have here are at the on the bookshelf at the bottom there but I wanted some obviously near there and the ones that I want to actually listen to. So I got in this little crate from Five Below and I don't know, and it's just gonna be the temporary place for the records, but I currently have some Mozart, this Finlandia one that I played last night and it was really good. A fifth of Beethoven, Be a fifth of Beetho Beethoven. Look at this cover, I love vinyl art, so fun. And I have a couple, um, Big Brother and the Holding Company, and a Janis Joplin, love. I was obsessed with Janis Joplin when I was a teenager. Come on, a born to die. What do you have to say? Hope you enjoyed that doggy ASMR. What I have gotten, I decided to do a little bit of a splurge, okay? Because I got an order in and I was like, you know what? This order I'm going to use to buy um, vinyls. I got Brahms Piano Concerto number two. I looked this one up because I was on the fence. Do I get this one or do I just want it because the cover is really pretty? But I looked it up and it was sounded so good. So Cham, Ghetto Story. Um, they had a dance hall section, which I was very pleased about. And I was going to get a Beanie Man one, but I couldn't decide. And I figured, let's just get one. So... I love. And I think I'm going to go back for the Beanie Man one later, if they still have it, obviously, um, for my sister's birthday gift. Imari, if you're watching this, you did not hear that. Uh, this one was only $5, so I just want to hear it, okay? Battle music. Oh, I didn't even... I just read battle music and I saw $5 and I was like, I'm going to get it. Battle music. <laughs> That'll be great for reading. And the point of getting records right now is because I've been doing a lot more physical reading recently, ebooks. I'll get into that in a second. So, you know, I want stuff to listen to and I figured vinyl's best. This one, I love. This reminds me of that movie. I can't remember what movie, what the name of the movie is. But do you know the one that I'm talking about? It's like really old, black and white. It's like this dystopian world. What the heck is that movie called? I used to love that back in the day. Okay, this one, yes, the cover. <laughs> Look at that. This is Bach, Vivaldi, and Handel. And you can read. I don't have to say that one out loud. Yeah. A Treasury of G Gregorian Chant, sung by the monks of the Abbey of St. Thomas. <sighs> Doesn't that sound like a good time? I hope it is. <laughs> I haven't bought records in so long. And it's good to be getting back into it because I love the going to a record store and you can't listen to any of the music. You can kind of look it up, but a lot of them, you're not going to find exactly what the record is. And I love the sound of like the crackles on a record player. Usually when I listen to playlists on YouTube, it's like with rain sounds in, in the background. <laughs> very fun. Very excited. I'm going to have such a good evening right now. I have a book to read uh, on my Kindle. I have records to listen to. Gonna light some candles. Gonna make a shakshuka. I made a shakshuka a couple weeks ago and it was so divine. So I'm gonna make that again. I just got in the mail. Blood Orange by Karina Hale. Yay! I was talking about this in my last video, uh, Blood Orange. I read it and the second book. I wasn't really gonna read the second book, but then I was like, you know what? I have to. I need to experience it. Her name's not Karina Hale, it's Hallie. I always forget. This is a dark romance fantasy vampire a lot of spice but there's still a plot and it's fun and it's dracula and reincarnated vibes and it's just really 
good. I just love Karina Hill's storytelling and writing. And I think that just right now I'm in my romance fantasy era again. It's just, you know, la this time last year I think I was starting my high fantasy era. So you know what? It's time. And then I was, I follow Karina on Instagram and she posted this other book by another author. I was like, I just want to look it up. And it's dark academia, dark vibes. I'm pretty sure there's spice in it. But so far it's giving it's giving the dark academia vibes and we're gonna go to a gothic academia school setting <laughs> i'm just so like in love with reading right now i haven't really been reading physical books so much with blood orange and the second book black rose i read both of them physically and they were the first books it's freaking april but it's the first books that i read completely physically no audiobook accompaniment so i just feel so excited to read physical books right now don't mind rocky he's playing he's having a good time <laughs>